Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, we're doing an unboxing of a Logitech speaker system. It's a 2.1 system. Um, the particular model, as you pronounce here in Canada and many parts of the world, is Z623. And for the neighbors down south in America, uh, they pronounce it as Z623. So this is a 2.1 speaker system, which is primarily designed for computers, but I'm pretty sure knowing Logitech, I wouldn't be surprised if you can hook it up to your TV as well. Um, those kind of details I will be discussing in the review of the speaker system. You can find a link to the review in the video description. So for now, I'm just going to do an unboxing. So let's get straight into it. And um, so as I'm going through this, the pricing of this speaker system ranges from about like 180 to 200 here in Canada. Now, if you're paying 200 close to that number, you're getting ripped off. You should not be paying that much. Right now, it's Boxing Week sale. So I was actually able to get this on sale for um, 120 which is actually a steal. It's actually quite a great deal. So be sure to browse around and look around. And I'm actually doing this unboxing on the floor because this, this box is kind of big to put on the desk. I don't think I would get the angle in my camera, so it's all good. Okay, so first bit of contents is a getting started guide. I'm pretty sure this won't be needed on my half. Like, uh, it just looks like a very straightforward system. It's just 2.1 system. If you're not sure what that means, 2.1 system basically means you're getting two speakers and one subwoofer. That's basically what it accounts for. So, right, that's one. Two. All right, so I'm not going to go over the cable length of the wires here. I know some people have very specific type of desk setups. Um, you might want the wire to go a long distance. So I will be getting in the details of like the wires, the performance, the length of the wires and the cords. All those details will be in the review video. So let me just get this out. And um, I, I gotta say, it looks pretty sleek. Um, I like this look that it has. Um, it has to be some rubber padding, which is great for people who have wooden desks that are afraid to scratch anything. So nicely done there. And this looks to be the second unit. I think this is the primary. I'm just guessing by the wire fitting itself. So let me just get this out. Yeah, this is, the, this is the primary controller. I mean, it's got the volume control here, bass, uh, power on and off. So this is the primary speaker, and this is the secondary. So I'm not gonna go over the cord type and length. Again, check the review video. Um, looks to be a 3.5 millimeter wire, kind of similar to a headphone setting. Uh, so that's great to have that they included it. It's very nice. Let's get the subwoofer out which a subwoofer should also be what's powering the system itself. Okay, this is not working too well. Okay, I believe that's it. Yeah, the rest is just a lot of cardboard in boxes. Oh, finally, one of my lesser elegant unboxing videos and quite difficult. Uh, but this is the subwoofer unit, and it's also what's going to be powering everything. Um, here's the power cord, of course, just here on the side. And what I'm seeing here at the back is where basically everything's going to be plugged in speakers and whatnot. And it looks like you have some auxiliary left and right, so red and white. Um, so, yeah, you can hook it up to a TV, and it looks to be a fitting for the 3.5 millimeter wire. So um, I'll get into inputs and outputs and all that other good stuff again in the review video. Overall, I have to say this unit is not as heavy as I thought. The, the box overall was heavy with the speakers, but this is not bad. In terms of looks, just generally speaking, um, it, they look pretty nice. I'm, I'm really liking this look, and I am a huge, huge fan of Logitech. 
I think they are one of the most underrated speaker companies in the world. I mean, yeah, they primarily deal with computer speakers, but you can use their speakers with your uh, TV and whatnot. I think in terms of sound output and clarity to price ratio, for like best, they're basically the best bang for buck. Um, I feel like Bose, I was, I was about to get the Bose Companion 5, but there's no Watts RMS, nothing listed on their website. Bose does not care about listing what kind of power output they have in the speakers. I feel like they've kind of become the apple of speakers. They're great, but they just don't care to really specify too much information and they'll overprice their product. Bose is not bad. I'm not saying they're bad. I just feel like they're a bit overpriced. So Logitech has always been the best um, speakers for price to sound quality and performance in general power. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to see the review, be sure to check out that video. The link is in the video description. Um, and I hope to see you guys then. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links. Also in the video description. Hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. And thanks for watching.